Hey fellow explorers, one of the things I love about Singapore is the food here and in particular at Hawker Centers. There are over a hundred of these Hawker Centers in Singapore where a whole ton of restauranteurs have gotten together to provide cheap, tasty and delicious food. Uh, like for example, this chicken rice and drink, eight Singaporean dollars, so about six US for a full meal. Now in this video, I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know to eat and experience the Hawker Centers in Singapore. I'm gonna tell you what kind of like the etiquette is to eat at these places, the process, how to order. I'm gonna tell you what some of the best traditional dishes are to get and then I will conclude with some of the best hawker centers in the city and I'm starting this one at Lao Pa Sat which if you're staying in the central business district is in walking distance to many of the hotels I'm staying at the JW Marriott and I just walked here for about 20 minutes pretty convenient so when Singapore gained its independence from British rule and Malaysia, the new government seek to clean up the food vendor scene. With thousands of vendors selling food on the street in carts with questionable hygiene practices, they seek to clean it all up, which didn't mean to close it all down, but it meant building facilities for these vendors to move into with the infrastructure that they need to prepare food cleanly and safely, like electricity and running water, things that people that sell food out in carts generally don't have. I mentioned that there's over 100 of these in Singapore. The biggest of them is the Hawker Center in Chinatown, which has over 260 stalls. They call them stalls because when they built these things, they were literally stalls for people to push their carts in from the street and just move them into one of these places. Why do they call them hawkers? Well, because that's the British English term for someone selling food or items out on the street. They're hawking their food out on the street. Now, the food in these places, much of it is quite amazing and delicious. The Michelin Guide has like given Michelin stars to food stalls. One behind me here in La Passat has a Bib Gourmand Award, uh, and you can get a uh, Michelin starred meal at a Hawker Center in Singapore for like $3, true story. Uh, this will definitely not be a Michelin meal that will break your bank. So, but now how are they so cheap? How can they afford to provide this food $3? No frills. That's how uh, all Hawker Centers are open air. They are outside, but have a roof because it rains here so much that they need a roof. So they'll often have a roof and some fans, but no air conditioning that saves on money. What are some other things that you don't get at Hawker Centers? Many Hawker Centers, you have to pay to use the toilet. Uh, you don't get um, tissues or Kleenex or napkins. You need to bring your own napkins to use to wipe your hands or wipe your mouth. One of the things I always bring when I'm out in Singapore is the hand towel from my hotel. It can be good for wiping the mouth or even the forehead because it is so hot here. Uh, now, if the, like, if the no air conditioning really bums you out and it's too hot to eat in these places for you, most major shopping malls in Singapore will have an indoor air-conditioned food court um, that you can eat in air-conditioned comfort, though you're gonna pay two to three times the price, and the locals will tell you the food isn't quite as good in the food courts as it is in the hawker centers. I don't know, as the tourist, sometimes it's hard for me to tell the difference. Um, I like them in both places, uh, but I do like the variety and the cheapness of the hawker centers. And on today, which is like a rainy day that I'm shooting this actually, keeps the temperature down, and so it's quite pleasant to eat in here. All right, so how do you get your food at these stalls? At most hawker centers, you will go line up at one of the stalls and you'll pay for your food. Uh, some hawker centers are card only. Here at Lao Passat, card only. So if you have cash, there's a stall where you can add your cash to a digital card, and then you can use that to pay at the vendors. At some hawker centers, Newton Food Center in particular, the tables will have numbers on them, and then if the tables have numbers, First you'll get a table, and then you'll go to the stall, and then you'll tell them what table you're sitting at, and then they'll bring your food to your table. If you're ordering at the stall, and then you take your food to your table, generally you'll pay at the time you order it. If it's one where they bring your food to your table, then generally you'll pay at the time they bring the food to your table. Tables in the Hawker Centers, they're not reserved. You can't call in and say like, hey, I'd like to have a table for five at 6 p.m. First come, first serve. Uh, but now the way local Singaporeans will reserve a table is they might put something on it, like a water bottle that claims the table or a pack of Kleenex. If you see a package of Kleenex or facial tissues, that doesn't mean the table's free. That means the table's been reserved for somebody who's going to get their food. The term they use is to choke the table. Now, generally the 
food stalls in Hawker Centers only sell food, and then there's another stall that will sell drinks and then maybe dessert. And here in La Passat, there are two drink stalls. There's one in the center that sells like sugarcane juice, lime juice, mango juice, uh, also shaved ice for dessert. And then there's another stall that sells beer. There's like 100 stalls here, but only two that sell drinks. The 98 sell food. And so if you want your drinks, I recommend getting that first and then going to get your food. Often the drinks can be the same price as the food because ice and refrigeration is expensive in such a hot country. Um, I also like to bring some extra bottled water from the hotel. Now get yourself something that has some soup because that'll help hydrate you too. All right, let's talk about some of the must eat foods you need to eat while you're here in Singapore and strategically, that's what I've got in front of me. Oh, by the way, at La Pasta, one of the things I like about it, it's this old school um, place, and so like the bell actually chimes every 30 minutes. You can hear that central bell chiming that it is, it is one o'clock right now on a Saturday. All right, so the first must eat food in Singapore is chicken rice. This is like the national dish of Singapore. Uh, it comes in two styles, roasted or steamed. And depending upon which one you get, uh, it comes on a bed of rice. The rice has typically been cooked in chicken broth and also ginger flavors. You usually serve with some carrots on the side, some kind of soup, and then some dipping sauces. The dipping sauces are key. Um, usually you'll get like a trio of dark soy sauce, some chili sambal, and then some uh, like a ginger scallion oil. So uh, if, if you like, you know, the skin to be maybe a little bit crispier, tastier, get the roasted one. They're both good. And you know what? The portions are actually pretty small at Hawker Centers. So as like a big American guy like me, I can probably get like three things from three different stalls to make up a lunch or dinner. Uh, this one, it's like five bucks for the chicken rice and the soup and a little over two bucks for the uh, lime juice. You know, $8 total, bring that down in the US dollars, about six US dollars for this mm, tasty meal. The chicken's moist, it's really flavorful, it's not dry, but I didn't dip it in the sauce like I was supposed to because I'm doing this and I just had it in front of me. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip this into the, this is a thick soy sauce actually. It's not like a regular soy, soy sauce, so it holds on to the chicken better. Mm. And the sweet and salty kind of all together. Uh, and then this one is more on the spicy side of the house. We'll go ahead and dip right in there. Mm. A little bit vinegary too, along with that spice. Oh, just the right level of spice delicious. This should be your first Hawker Center meal. Like pretty much every Hawker Center in Singapore, you're going to find some stall that sells chicken rice. Oh, and when you're done with your food, definitely clear your table and bring your trays back to the tray return area. It turns out not clearing your table, actually illegal in Singapore and can lead to a fine. Yes, one of the many illegal things. Here. But now if you want to eat at the locals' favorite chicken rice, it's the Tian Tian Chicken Rice in the Maxwell Road Hawker Center in Chinatown, which is what I have right here. Six dollars uh, for this dish only comes with one sauce. It doesn't come with the dark soy sauce. It just comes with the, um, this is like everything all in one. I mean, not soy sauce, but it's like ginger, spicy. How do I know? I've already had one bite, but mm, I'll take another one on camera. It is so good. This is so moist. They have long lines. I had to wait in line maybe 20 minutes, something like that, but it moves pretty quickly coming off hours. This Hawker Center is so busy. This is the Maxwell Road Hawker Center, which is another great Hawker Center to check out. Um, but it can be quite busy even at like two o'clock in the afternoon. There's almost no place to sit. So I had to sit out here, kind of in the rain. That's okay. It's cooler out here. And the chicken is just as delicious. Oh, I forgot to tell you what I was drinking. I've got a lime juice right here. Mm. From a stall just a couple doors down from the chicken rice place. $1.50 for this lime juice, a classic Singaporean drink. So sour, makes you pucker. Another musty food at the Hawker Centers is roast pork rice. You'll find these kinds of stalls where they've got the roast pork and probably a lot of other roast meats hanging in the window. This one is from that stall back there in the People's Park Food Center. This is another food center in Chinatown. Um, mm, it's good. It's crispy, but it's also moist at the same time. And the rice, mm, a sweet sauce on the rice, a few cucumbers to go with it. 
and a little bowl of soup. As usual, no beverages at the food stalls. There was a beverage stall right next door that I got the iced tea. This one is a iced lemon tea. Now in Singapore, they like uh, sweet, sweetened iced tea with actual like piece of lemon in it that they squeeze. This is the large cup for $2.30. Perfect. So ever since the Michelin Guide has started giving Michelin stars and Bib Gourmand awards to hawker stalls, there's become this whole cottage industry of franchising those popular hawker stalls. And so I am at one of those franchised food courts. This is the Jurassic Food Court at Gardens by the Bay where every stall in here is a famous hawker stall that's received the Michelin Award somehow. The one I'm eating from is Hawker Chan, it's famous for their soy sauce chicken rice that comes with beans as the side. I also got a wonton soup uh, and a iced tea. The, the iced tea is just the Malaysian pulled tea with condensed milk that came from the drink stall. The dings you hear in here is because um, you don't pay from the stall. You, there's like a common order kiosk, and then the when your food's ready, there's like a screen, and every time it dings, another order's ready. It's busy and it's kind of annoying. I mean, I'd love, I'd rather hear sounds of dinosaurs than of dings. Um, anyway, let's try one of these uh, like pork pieces right here. I'll dip it in the chili sambal. Give it a go. Good. Yeah. Is it better than the pork rice I had in Chinatown? Probably not. Just more famous. You should definitely eat the fried prawn hokkien mee. What is this? This is noodles with some prawns, shrimps, um, and the noodles, they're kind of in like a little soupy mixture, mm, walked up fresh, and they're typically served with some sort of chili sauce or chili sambal on the side. I got this one from a stall at the Albert Food Center, and she told me that it was very, very spicy. And, uh, and let me tell you, I had just a little bit, and it's really spicy. Generally with the sambal, that chili sauce, you kind of like stir it and you mix it up because it's soupy, and it mixes it up all together. I think I'm gonna mix in just a, just a tiny, tiny little bit. If you're looking for Indian food, then the Hawker Center to go is the Tekka Center in Little India, which is where I am right now. Like half the vendors here specialize just in Indian food, lots of great uh, biryani vendors, and I was here for the Prata, which is an Indian flatbread cooked up fresh. It comes in a bunch of different varieties. I've got the one with honey, so this is like a, a dessert Prata, but you can also get it with like curry as a dipping sauce. $2.50 right here for this. Mmm. Mmm. Hot, soft, but crispy. Chewy, but not too chewy. And sweet with the honey. Really quite delicious. It's a drink from the stall right next door. I got a honey ginger lemon. Lemonade, I guess. But, mmm. <clears throat> it doesn't, it doesn't taste like lemonade. I mean, there's a little bit of lemon in it, but it's definitely like ginger is the prevailing taste of this drink. So uh, if you want to like, I uh, boost your immunity or something like that, get a honey ginger lemon drink. Wow. If you like spicy foods, definitely get yourself a bowl of laksa. What is in this bowl? There's some noodles, there's some seafood, there's some bean sprouts, there's some eggs, a lot of stuff in a broth that they often call gravy. It is curry, coconut, and some spices. Pretty good. When you're in Singapore, you should definitely get the carrot cake. Now you might be thinking, Chris, that doesn't look like any carrot cake I've ever seen. This is a carrot cake in Singapore. It has no carrots. Uh, it is made of radish mixed with flour um, that are kind of uh, steamed, made into these little cubes with egg, stir-fried with egg and garlic, and always served with some spicy chili sambal sauce. Mm. Pretty good. And to drink, I've got a honey, iced honey lemon, which is more honey than it is lemon. Good though. $13 here at the Food Opera 
because it is hot today and I, I really needed some air conditioning in a food court. Definitely check out the Indonesian cuisine while you're here. And the way these Indonesian places work is generally the food's all out there prepared and you just sort of pick and choose what you want. You get like one meat or you get two meats. So here I've got the beef rendang, I've got some chicken, four different vegetables and some rice and some spicy sauce, of course, because everything's better with some spicy sauce. These look like some spicy potatoes, which indeed, that's what that is. And tofu over here, mm, um, the beef, which this like, uh, like juice or sauce on it right there. Mm, that looks yummy. Mm. That is, that is really good. A classic dessert in Singapore is shave ice, and there's a lot of different types of shave ice. A Malaysian classic is sendal, which is um, shave ice, pandan leaves. This one, they've got red bean. You'll find these with lots of different toppings. Um, where am I eating this? I'm eating this at the Chinatown Hawker Center, not Maxwell Road that I was in earlier. This one is a block and a half away, and there's 260 more vendors in this place. Uh, it's pretty crazy, but you gotta eat it fast, because. It's hot outside, and I better stop talking, otherwise all my ice is gonna melt. And just another example of Singaporean shave ice, uh, this is at the Singapore Zoo at the Inuka Cafe. This is called the Bobo Cha Cha. It's got, it's got yams. Mm, it's got taro and mm, like jello or jelly pieces. Well, fellow explorers, if you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy checking out some more of my videos from Singapore. You'll find links here on the screen or in the description below. And as usual, I won't say goodbye because I'm going to see you in one of those videos.